In love, sageless, the winner never comes. In love, sageless. The Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is a very exciting video because I'm making the high end product and um, makeup mini haul. So it's always interesting to see about new products, what people have, what people got, what is interesting on the market, and yeah. But before we get into the new products that I collected during like during one month and a half sort of, I want to mention one thing because uh, if you know Claudia Schiffer uh, released her makeup collection, makeup line with a collaboration with, um, with the German brand Art Deco. It's a limited edition so it's still not in the shops. I don't know if they're going to be. I mean, in Spain, for the moment, I didn't see any Claudia Schiffer in the stores, so I ordered on like a couple things. Um, I And I haven't still opened it, so I'm going to try to, well, try, I'm going to open it in front of you and I'm going to test it, so it's quite exciting. I'm as excited as you are because I still haven't seen what's in there. So the packaging looks like this. This is this peach cream packaging. I love it. I I saw it already um, one month ago on Instagram and uh, I just couldn't wait to hold it. I decided to go for the classical, the, you know, makeup items because this is something I will always want to have. It's something that you put in your cosmetic bag and something you take out of your cosmetic bag when you're out there, you know, just to chuck yourself in the mirror and the lipstick, of course. Of course. And I went for the color like it's called peach club i thought it's very cloud shipper kind of color i saw she used a lot of this peachy cream you know um shades on her lips and i don't know for me it's also a little bit of a sentimental thing because when i was growing up cloud shipper was for me one of those you know magic creatures models most of the 90s there have like nothing to do with the models of an um, our days so they were so like out of another world and color shaper was for me the model I could relate myself more than other top models for obvious reasons so yeah I was very excited to get her um, makeup line well I got two things but I do I do believe I will be ordering more things I'll see how there are more things, of course. There are lipsticks. Well, lipstick I have. There are eyeliners and sh eyeshadows, um, pencils. Okay, let's just take a moment. Okay, let's just enjoy this moment. Now, here, cut the zipper. There's something like a little booklet or something. I don't know. I guess it's a description how you have to use the translucent powder. Okay. Now, this beauty. Okay, let's open it. It's in a no color setting powder. So yeah, so you cannot go wrong with this. Now, the mirror, thank God. Because sometimes there is no mirror. Like even even, the, even if you buy a high-end product, there is no mirror. Nice, love it. I'm going to test it. Like, wow. It's, I've never tried anything like this before. Okay, I'm going to test it later on my face. You see, I have actually have no makeup. I only have the base. Um, and I did some brows and I put the base for my eyeshadow, for, my, for the eyeshadows, yeah. Because I want to try uh, simultaneously. I'm going to show you the products that I got and I'm going to just test it on my face. So it's more fun, you know, than swatches on your hand. So basically, yeah. Uh, okay, I just watched it like this and it's like, it's milled so finely. I, I've never tried such texture. I think it's going to be so nice. Oh, and I feel like this powder is going to be this, you know, mm, when it's sort of like a primer. The, the effect of the primer that it completely mattifies your face in a way, in such a subtle way. I'm just guessing because of the texture of the powder, but let's see. So far, so good. Okay, I'm just gonna put it here for the moment. And the lipstick, let's open it. 
should be something kitchen so you see it's like new I didn't open it yet actually my patience were, has been tested yesterday because I was so so tempted to open it but I didn't I just wanted to do it in front of you you know like a, like we are having like we're sitting together in the room and you know watching your products now this beauty everywhere is in boss cloud shimmer like you won't see probably it's like very in the same golden um, letters but yeah is there a, yes there was a click I love this magnet click because it just sounds very chic and glamorous look at this and it has like a little bit drops of rain or is like you have it on a strawberry you know this little like um, kind of dots has the same pattern I don't know if you could see now okay this is the lipstick and I'm going to try it also a bit later since I have my face completely naked from any makeup now okay these are two things that we need to try okay I will go quite fast through the things that I've got for the past uh, couple months, I think one month and a half, as I mentioned. Okay, let's start with the MAC uh, Translucent uh, Skin Finish Natural Powder, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder. I've heard about this powder, yes, I know, I have two now, but I believe they're quite different. Actually, I mean, I got this one before I got this one, but they're completely different concept. Um, so looks like this. I've heard about this powder a lot. I heard that it's like it's mineralized, so it doesn't have this, you know, mattifying finish. It's half, and it has a little bit of like fine little um, shimmer. So it's very nice to uh, powder and set your under eye area because it's going to be, you know, so bright. It's kind of like it's a brightening. Uh, skin finish powder. I love it a lot and especially I think it's going to be great in winter when your skin a little bit on a dull side and you just need some brightening effect makeup. So yeah, this one of those things I'm happy about. Mm, another MAC. I have several MACs actually. No, oh, two, three. Okay, these eyeshadows. Um, yeah, it's it was a bit of a, you know, just let's do something like that because this color is not something I would use every day but I love to have a pop of color, a pop of color. The, the, the reason I have this um, like you know deep blue it's kind of a metallic a little bit oh it's actually quite matte I don't know why it's metallic it's quite pigmented but it's not like um, it's quite buildable I mean it's pigmented but it's buildable it's not when you put it on your eyes gonna be like oh you see it's beautiful and the highlight uh, color also very nice like cream cream highlight I prefer cream highlight to the like white you know silver highlight because I mean these ones I normally don't use I had a wedding to go to in summer so I had like a navy blue or like like bright actually blue dress so I thought to match my eyeshadows to the dress and I got it so it, it went really nice I like it, but it's not something I would use every day, even though the highlight I'm using quite often. Another thing from, I have two things from Bobbi Brown. Mm, some of the things I try, some I haven't. Actually, eyeshadows I still haven't really tried. I don't know. Because I kind of bought it for autumn. It has this beautiful uh, taupey pink uh, color. It's called In Heather, number 15 beautiful I still don't know I'm not gonna really I don't really know what I'm going to swat uh, to try probably not this because I have another eye palette to show you so it's like this it's very this kind of a this gray pink very light shade all over your eye it, I think it should look very nice I feel like there is no enough sun here today okay I got this one. I cannot say I, I I love it because I haven't really used it, but I'm looking forward to it. Now, um, another thing from Bobbi Brown. Some of them has packages, some don't because I also got it when I was traveling, so some of them are just tossed away, obviously. This one is blush, a famous uh, Bobbi Brown blush. It's in... Uh, 
What color is in there? I think it's in Tony. It's also for like autumn color vibe because obviously in the end of the August I wouldn't be buying something for summer. So this one and I tried it. It's so pigmented. Okay. This is my first, I think, Bobbi Brown blush. It's so pigmented. I don't even know whether I like it or not. I use it though. I use it quite often. But I don't know. It's just something about this pigment. Like you have to go with such a light hand. And yeah. But the color is beautiful. I'm gonna. Okay, I think I have like blue everywhere. I'm going to try it on you. Uh, on my. <laughs> on you. Well. I wish, yeah. Here it is. I'm gonna test it in front of you. It's this orangey pink. It's more of an like tony, you know, like a kind of a late brick color. It's very autumnal. It's nice though. Unless you don't, you know, um, go overboard with this, it's very nice. Now, another makeup, the last one from makeup is this Urban Decay Naked Palette. It's beautiful. It's just look at those colors the only drawback that i can see it's not enough mattes for me they have only three and even not matte enough actually no quite matte this pink like it's called virgin very light pink then there is this naked nude color light nude and this buck it's called Kind of intense chocolatey color not too intense but good enough for you know for the crease i love it you can create a very nice bronzy look and then the bronze and this beautiful color this is one of this in hustle probably my favorite it's I'm gonna swatch it here it's it's like this taupey where is it here taupey color Beautiful. I'm already looking forward to using it in autumn soon enough. For the moment, I'm more of a lighter shade, but soon I'm going to be using more autumnal shades. So basically, yeah. So I was thinking to do a little tutorial with this palette and try the eyeshadows and the lipstick. So how about that? Okay, I have the makeup and, well... Not too much. I actually put it in the morning and uh, now it has been already three hours past. So yeah, let's do the Naked Palette. Let's see what we going to try. I'm going to use, actually there's a mirror here, so perfect. I'm going to start with this Naked. I'm going to go all over my lid just to see the texture the texture is nice it's a very natural nice base I'm gonna do the same here I want to look for I want to go for a really like a nude beige a little bit of bronzy shade I love in in uh, in autumn, not too mainly. I love the nude look. Actually, my tutorial that I did last October or November, where I was uh, showing the, I think it was a nude makeup tutorial, happened to be one of the most famous um, videos that I did. So yeah, because it works, you know, nude look works. Now let's go with a more intense color into the crease. I'm going to use now the back one, this one. And we're going to go here. It's not exactly like very, you know, a proper makeup tutorial. I'm just trying to show you how the colors look like and just, you know, a little bit of fun. Now, I'm gonna go and just do it. Okay. 
and for more I think we're gonna go and use let's use a little bit of um, pink probably let's use this highlight this in sin just a little bit of here goes well with our beige tones and in the corners we're gonna use the same thing I think this is um well what else we can try i think we have to go a little bit deeper in the corners of the eyes yeah this is the only thing is missing and i'm gonna take this brush that was here and i think we're gonna go for this this actually the chocolatey color that's called dark horse it's a very fun name this one and this one and I'm just going to go a little bit on the corners sort of like I'm um, gonna make it sort of like a um, like I would do with a pencil actually this is something I do often I instead of using the pencil I'll just draw a little bit of a line sort of uh, by the with the eyeshadows and it it looks quite softer I think in the day it just looks a little bit more fresh and yeah I do it quite often so that's why of course the palette eyeshadows palettes they're so practical because you can do it all in one go holding like this and it's just you know like a painter it's really cool. I love using eyeshadows for that, but I use it so rarely. And a little bit here. Just a tiny bit because I don't really like to go very hard on my on a lower lash line. It's just especially in the day where I'm making I'm making some kind of a nude light look. That's pretty much it. And and since all of the oh yeah, this is sorry. I was just thinking ahead of me. Now I'm going to use this and this one in virgin for a little highlight here. Very soft, very nice. I'm oh, loving it. This is fantastic. It's not too shimmery. As I said, it's um, this one actually, the virgin one, is uh, quite um, matte, but not like flat matte, not like, you know, chalky matte. Perfect. It combines in very nicely with all this. Actually, this texture combines very nicely together. That's why I wish I had, this palette has a little bit more of a matte, like maybe a couple more mattes here. But all in all, it's a really good palette. I'm really, really excited. And especially in the middle, those bronzy colors. Cannot wait actually to create like a bronzy look. Yes, this is probably going to be my next um, makeup tutorial at some point, maybe in November. The most exciting part is we are going to try now the Clouder Schiffer Press Powder. Translucent, yeah, no color powder. Okay, I have already tested, swatched it, super excited. Okay, which, which brush? Okay, here it is, by MAC. This is my favorite, actually, powder brush. It's 133, 133. And let's do it. Mm. I can't even see it. Okay. The moment. And now we're going to powder here. It's literally like a silky veil. It's, it's beautiful. It's like, um, it's actually sort of um, has this veil and even like your pores like gets invisible completely almost. I was right, it's like an effect of a primer. 
when you put it. I have to say, I think I love it better than my mineralized powder by MAC. Blush. We, for, we are forgetting the blush by um, Bobby Brown. Okay, this is the blush that I was talking about that is so pigmented. Let's try to make something out of it that is not too uh, garish. I'm going to use my Urban Decay. So yeah, this is the blush, if you forgot. Or if you started to watch along from this point. Like, seriously, with the lightest hand ever. There are moments, there were times when I tried it and I really was, I looked like I was hit or something <laughs> because I was so red. <laughs> I mean, but I love the color. Okay, the lipstick, the last thing to try. And because my natural color of the lips is quite bright, this is my natural color. So I'm going to dull it and I'm going to Tone it down with this, well, it's actually a new product too, but I'm going to involve it in my next video where I'm going to talk about my drugstore and French pharmacy haul. So I'm going to simply wait a little bit so my lips don't look so red because we need the real color of the lipstick. And where's the lipstick? Is here. Oh, by the way, there is a cloud here. I just noticed it's a cloud here. Do you see the cloud? So basically if there is a cloud on the lid, it means these are the raindrops embossed into the lipstick. This is so pretty. I don't know if you see it, but yeah, the prettiness of it. Let's try it on. I really hope you were patient enough and you waited until the end of the video to see this. No, I didn't do it on purpose, but the thing is, this is something you do. This is the last thing you do in your makeup, no? You apply your lipstick. It's gonna be funny to apply it in the, the first step in the makeup. Okay. It's so orangey. I hope it's not so orangey. I'm simply loving it. It's so battery. I'm saying battery all the time, but it is. It's like on a balmy side. Look how pretty it is. And I think it's really, really, it does complement the nude look. And my nails, actually. Yeah. It's not that bright on the lips, as you can see. Like, the, the bullet is so much brighter. And on the lips, it looks so nice. I'm so happy. I love this color. Honestly, if I just saw it in the shop and I would see this color, I would be like, hmm, probably too, like, you know, this kind of a milky orange. It is has some, you know, kind of a milky kind of undertone. But, it's it's very balmy so probably it's not going to be very long lasting but it's going to be you know it's not drying this is good and especially in, in winter don't you find that in winter your lips get um drier so those kind of lipstick that has a little bit of moisture in it like a balmy side it's always nicer even though i love matte lipsticks as well anyhow i'm loving it i'm so happy um Cannot wait to carry it in my cosmetic bag and it's just, you know, cause a shiver. Yeah. Beauty. Now, here it is. Here's my um, high-end haul. Stick around and see you next week. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Bye-bye. Oh, sage less though in the never